Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Ellis Stanley of Bridgeport. We are bombarded with everything. We're in a world that is very busy. We're in a world that pushed time to its limit. We're in a world that people just don't communicate the way they used to communicate. And we see that. We understand that. And we're in a world that doesn't understand God and don't really know God in the way that God wants them to know him. So when we start sharing with you in these devos about everyone needs a savior, we don't understand what people don't understand sometimes because we are on we're different. Okay, we'll just 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 go ahead. We just have to say it. We're different. We're no longer in darkness. We're walking in the light. So we see things different now. You know, to the world, you know, the gospel is foolishness. It just doesn't make any sense because the world is perishing. And when I say perishing, the world is just going by day by day in a matrix. They just think everything is either fine, everything is all bad. Uh, they skeptical about everything under the sun. If it's sunny, it's too much sun. If it's raining, it's too much rain. Okay, so they just don't understand what we understand. We see joy in everything. When God wake us up in the morning, we see joy in just being, just being rejuvenated from a night of rest. We feel good to put our feet on the floor, but not everybody feels that way. Okay, so when we start on our day with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit already got us activated for kingdom business, and kingdom business is serious business. Folks, it really is. God is busy, and you know what? Satan is busy, too. His enemy is busy, too. He he doesn't sleep either. He, he sits around and he waits till you get up, and he tries to derail you. He tries to derail me. He tries to get us not to see things in a spiritual way because the more spiritual we are, the more light shines, and Satan don't want light to shine because he holds people in darkness. It's just like a room. When you walk into a room, the first thing you look for or feel for is the light switch. Isn't that funny? It's something as common as that helps you with that illustration to understand that Satan don't want you to cut the light on, so he don't want you to pray in the morning. He don't want you to talk to God. He don't want you to get rejuvenated because he knows a light that flicker is not a light that shines. So if we don't pray first thing in the morning, we don't get ourselves ready for kingdom business, then there will be no kingdom business coming from us. And then it'd be kind of like, woe is me. We sound like everybody around us. And once we sound like everybody around us, God's business is being defeated. See, God wants you to feel good about who you are in Christ because he knew that you was going to need a savior. And that's why he sent one. He sent his son, his only begotten son. God could have sent anything and anybody he wanted to send. But you know what? He wanted to send you somebody from his family. He wanted to send you someone who understood love and the sacrifice that what love would bring through that sacrifice. And when I read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, I understand what love truly is. Now I know why I need a Savior. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think I needed a Savior, but now I know because I didn't know what love was. I didn't know how to display love. I didn't know how to give love. But now that love is defined in the way that it's defined, I now know that I need a Savior. And because I know that, you know what else I know? Everybody else needs a Savior. So I put my face on, that smiley face. I put that energetic attitude on when I talk to people. And I just let it flow. I let the Holy Spirit flow. Here I am, use me. You got me up this morning, here I am. Use me. I have no idea what the day is going to be like. Don't know. Don't know what 2 o'clock is going to be like because it's still 10 o'clock. I'm still working. But I know you do. Nothing catches you off guard, Holy Spirit, so I know what you're going to do. We're going to have lunch. We're going to have lunch. And you're going to have me talking. You're going to have me saying some things to somebody. I know it's not going to be a quiet day because I know that's not how God operates. God talks all the time. He does. God talks all the time through his word. There's not a moment of silence in God's word. Do you know that? It's not. You can talk to God every day that you can keep your eyes open and God will talk right back to you through his word. Isn't that a blessing? I don't think you knew that. I don't think you knew that God talks all the time. People are silent because God doesn't rest. He doesn't take a nap. God is always talking. And everything knows that. Everything knows that God is saying something because everybody needs a savior. 
Okay. There's absolutely nothing else that everybody needs at one time collectively as a human being. Think about that. You need a savior every single minute of the day. Praise and blessings to you. You've been listening to Pastor Ellis Stanley of Bridgeport, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word. 